YouTube. Sup? Think about playing some uh, Toho, and not just uh, one of the old retro ones like we've been we've been digging up. But uh, I think this is the latest one. I think there's one being worked on, but I think this is the latest complete one. Uh, Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom. I think this is the, the 15th Toho game. Pretty wild stuff. So I figured, like, hey, you know, uh, I was kind of contemplating playing more uh, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil or uh, Perfect Cherry Blossom or even starting in Perishable Night. But I was like, you know what? I haven't even looked at this game. So let's 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 look at this game. And it is pretty. Uh, by Jesus, it's quite the improvement from the, the Toho games I'm used to. Um. And, and this game in particular, you know, um, has a lot of different cool modes. Uh, one that really tries to, you know, make you one see it, even one see seeing it, even if you don't want to. Um, yeah, some really crazy wild stuff in this game. But you know, I'm, I'm impressed all the same. Yeah, you can see there's this little stutter to the uh, pickups. Like if you're grazing on some bullets, um, not only do they turn that sort of orange or dark brown, that sort of thing. Um, pickups will kind of stutter and freeze for a bit. It's just, it, this, there's a lot of wild and crazy stuff going on. Uh, a lot of stuff I haven't even really, I don't think I even touched upon or I've even discovered quite yet. But, you know, so far I've liked, you know, this is a pretty radical game. Um, you know, you have a sense of really, uh, uh, like, like power from the get-go. You know, you're not really starting out, um, you know, with a little pea shooter. You really start off ready to go from the from the absolute start shooting down these bunny characters from the moon um, we're on easy mode I, I figured uh, you know we won't necessarily dive uh, head first into this just checking it out really um, but yeah it's got like four or five playable characters um, I went with Reimu she's she's your She's your Ryu, so I went with that. Um, that you got your you got your same old thing on here on the, on the right side of the screen. Kind of tells you you're on easy the whole time, which is good. High score, your uh, current score, the number of lives, spell card. What the fuck is spell card? <laughs> I, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I thought the old uh, the old game just said bomb, but that's what that means. Just you have you have I have three bombs my power kind of bro broken down a little bit weird but I think that's uh, just to simplify things it gives you like every pick is like a, maybe a fraction of a point that sort of thing my uh, how many uh, points of those pickups oh yeah that's pretty cool I like that number of grazes I have a lot of bunnies like, fuck these bunnies right kill them all Yeah, I haven't really looked into the storyline of this game, but apparently, like, these, uh, these bunny people live on the moon and they're attacking, I don't, attacking Earth, so we have to, I, I, I don't quite know. I suppose we could always take some time and, and read the dialogue, but. Purifying Earth. It's kind of cool. You got your uh, your life meter there. Kind of kind of tells you or shows you how close you are to your your extends. And there I go, trying to get as many bonus points as I can and trying to get myself killed by running up to the top of the screen. But yeah, the, the, there's uh, cool little graphical uh, touches as well, like these uh, like the uh, little explosions. With the little blue blue fires. I'm down with that. I'm down with it. This is a cool game. I'm I, you know, I, I'm very much used to uh, like Nintendo graphics when it comes to Toho games. But then again, I've only really played like the old classic ones. But you know, the tunes are cool. The tunes are that sort of you know horn. Horn, horn, horn piece type of uh, MIDI stuff. That's, you know, I've always enjoyed about the other games, but 
home. Eat that. Life piece get. We got we got a another piece of the heart container. Maximum power as well. But yes, there's a, there's a there's a cool mode on this that we I didn't particularly select. Maybe we will some other time when I have the desire to embarrass myself. But it's the uh, point mode. I I forget. It's not necessarily like a high score point mode, but it has the the word point in. I forget now. It was on the main screen there. But essentially, um, if you die at all, if you ever get hit, um, it just kind of asks you if you do you want to restart from uh, the last checkpoint, essentially. And it kind of, you know, reverses time, and you get to play that section again. And it's a, ultimately, like, a pretty awesome, like, uh, um, practice mode. You know, if if nothing to, uh, you know, 1cc as well. Keeps track of your restarts, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, awfully forgiving, I guess, for, uh, for a bullet hell, shoot em up type of game, you know? Uh, you don't necessarily see that sort of forgiveness from from games like that where it's kind of like oh sorry you just you just got owned on the last last boss and you want to you know you want you want your fist up your ass or your foot up your ass you know put put in your initials and cry you know that sort of thing um so it's pretty neat to see that like hey you know you're going to beat this game uh, without continuing uh yeah so so at, as, at this point we would have we would have the game would have ended next if we wanted to start the boss fight over, which is pretty interesting. We'll have to try it out, I'm sure. We're just playing, uh, you know, uh, play until we die, you know, sort of death run. And this is a pretty interesting uh, um, pattern. I like that where. Yeah, it has this like almost like absolute death ring, and then it kind of gets pushed out by his other bullets, or her other bullets. I don't know it's like a boy, but more than likely a girl, I'm sure. Some really powerful bomb bomb stuff there. And it's another little thing that I've noticed. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show in this video. But there was a couple times where I, I was in a, uh, you know, in the level fighting the fairies and the pixies and the yokai and all that. And I hit a bomb and I, and I, and I release a bomb. And during the, the, the uh, duration of the bomb, the, the boss shows up and then the boss starts taking damage as well. So that's a pretty, pretty uh, awesome uh, addition as well. You know, this game seems to be like I don't I don't know, maybe maybe the hardcore fans really like toss this one right in the trash, but you know, I, I like a, I like a game who where you, you can kinda play it how you like to play. Do you do you like do you need the assistance to play it and beat it or do you wanna just take care of it yourself and you know and, and just once you can see it, you know, the way the way you want to. So I so I like the little the little added things. And I'm sure I haven't even found them all either. This was really one of the one of the one of my first runs. Ugh. A little disappointing too to see how much damage we've taken even on easy mode. This is uh not a good sign. You know, I figured we could just jeez, look at that. Could have almost died right there. I could have I I uh I thought maybe we could, uh, you know, have a casual walk through easy mode and see what's up, but it looks like we're gonna just we're gonna get killed real quick, which is which is even um, scarier because that means we won't be able to handle normal. But uh, yeah, I wanted to check this game out. It seemed, you know, I you know, rather curious to see how the how the Toho games really. Um, improved throughout the years and they certainly have um 
I think we're still going to play an embodiment of Scarlet Devil. Um, I, th I think with some more practice, I think we can 1cc that one. Um, I don't think uh, the final boss of that game is tremendously hard. With some practice, I think we can do it. Um, we might see the end of um, Perfect Cherry Blossom. Uh, I think the finish of that game is... Um, it might be out of our grasp. I mean, that, that sword girl is brutal. All right, but that's going to be it for, for this round, at least. Um, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, especially if you want to see more Toho stuff, and we'll be doing this uh, again very soon.